Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Today is October 5th, Deja Vu. Right next to me, we have Hamid. 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 Now, let Hamid, let's introduce yourself to all the MMA Fight fans in the Bay Area, who you are, where you're born and raised, where you're coming from. Hey guys, my name is Hamid. Uh, originally, I'm from the Bay Area, Concord. Now I live in Sac near Sacramento area, uh, and I train at uh, uh, Your Eye Favors Ultimate Fitness. Now, this is part of interesting, you know, you originally wants to fight at 135, but due to like, I couldn't find anybody that similar experience like, like you are. And then now we have a, a, a 125 or it's, it's down to fight you at 130, catch weight, you know. So now what do you walk around with right now? Right now I'm about 141, 142. So you pretty much the same weight yeah. as the other guy. Yeah, pretty, I, I stay pretty lean, you know? So yes, now here. you are 36. 36, yeah. So what, what age do you start training martial art? Uh, I actually started uh, 36. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, at, at Ultimate Fitness. Uh, before then, I did one year of boxing. So th 35 is when I first started martial arts. Um, actually, the reason I got into martial arts was uh, once my parents they, they passed away uh, from cancer. You know, one after another. So it was actually a good way for me to um, you know stay away from drinking. You know, stay away from you know you know just staying out of trouble. So mentally, it, uh, it was kind of a window for me to keep myself busy and you know and I got into martial arts and it, it really helped me. Uh, you know, mentally have a clear mind and, you know, not go down the path of depression, you know, so yes. that's really what got into me, got, uh, got me into martial arts in the first place was to, uh, you know, going, uh, yeah. Now, what, what got you into you wants to fight in the cage? <laughs> <laughs> Once I got into martial arts, you know, I, I, I started sparring some guys and like, man, this is actually kind of fun, you know? <laughs> yeah, so the, spar the sparring is really what got me into it. Like, I, I actually enjoyed sparring, you know, um, uh, I don't mind taking punches, you know, so it wasn't that bad. And, uh, and then my coach was like, hey man, if you, if you enjoy this, if you like doing this, you might as well get some fights in before you get too old. Yeah. So I said, hey, wait, you know what, why not? Right now, it's oh, fun. Shit, well now you're here. Yeah. Get ready for the for first first fight in November 9th, in five weeks out yeah. in San Francisco. Now, um, sorry to hear that your parents both passed oh, away, nice. you know. Um, do you have a, another sibling, brother, sisters around? Yeah, so I have two sisters. I have two sisters, you know, they, they, they don't live nearby here. They live um, a little bit far away, but you know, we have a good, we have a good uh, bond. Now your name is Hamas. What nationality are you? Uh, I'm from Afghanistan. From oh, Afghanistan. Shit. Yeah, yeah. I moved here when I was about uh, 14 years old. Uh, so I've been I've been in the states for about like 20, 22 years now. So you know our main event of the night for the 205 pound guy, 205 pound title. It's also Afghanistan, the cutthroat. Oh, okay. You know who I'm talking about? No, I no, I don't. So but... I think a lot of people in the 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 I think he is Afghanistan. Yeah, I I, I think so. Afghani, yeah, Afghani. So, yeah. Uh, I think that the, the community is really yes. supported. Yeah. Because every time he fight on my shows, a lot of Afghanistan people coming into watching him fight. So, uh, are you uh, connected to a lot of the Afghanistan community? Uh, not 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 in the Bay Area. I don't know too many people from Afghanistan. I know there's a lot, there's a big population here in Sacramento recently. You know there have been a lot of Afghans that have been. Uh, my, uh, immigrating here as well, and uh, at the gym, they've been a lot of a lot of them coming in the gym. So I know a lot of them are getting into martial arts. You know, you know, we uh, there's a lot of warriors out there. You know, they love yeah, to fight. <laughs> yes, I know it's kind of crazy with yeah. the world now. All this entire crazy shit happening. Yeah. You know, uh, wow. So it's interesting. So you've been only training for like a year. Give a check, a little change. Yeah, kind of a green and new in the industry. You know. Now, do you know anything about your opponent? Uh, not too much. No. No, I didn't. I didn't. Really, I didn't really look him up too much. My my coach, you know, he said, "Hey, uh, since this is your first fight, as long as the guys all know, you know, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter right. his background. It's you guys, both you guys, first fight. It will be a great opportunity for you to go out there and, and you know do what, do what you do." Yes. Well, look him up on the camera website. I think yeah. you are fighting. Uh, you are fighting Miguel uh, Angel Luna, I believe. Yes. That's his last name. Hope I didn't pronounce wrong. And uh, you know that uh, that's crazy. So both you guys are brand new, and I believe he has a little bit more. You know, he's only 20-something, 20 21 or 20s. He's a young guy. Yeah. So uh, only, you know, he probably have some more background than you and playing sports in school, you know, so it's a little different. So, well, again, yeah. two debut guys. We don't know what they're going to do. Do you know what you're going to do? Uh, I love to strike, you know. My, my G2 is good. My wrestling is good, uh, relatively, you know. I'm, uh, I'm a white belt, player, so, you know, not much experience, but... Uh, you like to punch somebody. I like to strike. Yeah, just, just I love striking. You know, so that's pretty awesome. But, uh, but if it goes to the ground, I, I like going. I like wrestling and doing jiu-jitsu too. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Man. Now this is gonna be the first fight. Get your feet wet. Hopefully, all the family, friends from Sacramento come support. 
give you a little bit of love and support and get a ticket, come watch when you fight. Now, if people want to get a hold of you, how can people contact you? Uh, you guys can uh, get a hold of me. Uh, uh, I actually, I, I have a business too that I do. I, I repair, I do a garage door repair. So uh, if you ever, uh, I don't have an Instagram right now. I need to make an Instagram. No Instagram? No Instagram, no. Oh, but how do you, put, how do you promote your business? Uh, I just uh, uh, put it on Yelp, you know, Yelp, Google, uh, it's called Garage Door Services. If you guys, if you guys do need any repairs, you know, let me know, uh, mention this, mention this, uh, this interview and I'll give you a big discount. Oh, I'll shit. hook you guys up, take care of you guys. Well, I'm definitely gonna save your number. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do need to get one yeah. on some garage here and there, you know. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. So are you a U.S. citizen? Yeah, yes, yeah. You yeah voted, so. You're voting this year? Yes, sir. Trump, Trump 2024. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Yes, and Trump. Got Trump, baby. Trump. Let's go for Trump. <laughs> yes, sir. No Kamala. No, no Kamala. Kamala. No. Let, let's expose Kamala Harris, all right? Let's expose that girl. Yeah. People talking so much shit yeah. about Trump, his personality, his past, how he treats women. They don't talk no. about Kamala Harris back in the day when she was dating a 31-year-old older guy than her, really brown, San Francisco mayor. So she was dating him and so so using him to get get into like the district attorney in San Francisco. People don't talk about that. People don't realize no. that. Kamala Harris is no good. No. We gotta vote for Trump. Trump yes, is sir. the dude. Trump is the dude. We need him to be at our office. Hey, Trump's here looking out for the middle class people. You know, he's representing us. <laughs> so, you know, that's why I'm going for Trump. And also, you know, he's taking care of, he's gonna take care of our, our, our country, take care of our borders and bring the jobs back to the US. You know, we need the jobs in the US. It's, we gotta worry about our country. Absolutely, but I know because we say something like that, we might have some haters <laughs> on uh, on my comment on this video. <laughs> hey, we all, hey, everybody! If you do like, if you do support uh, Kamala, you're entitled to your own opinion. You know, no, nothing personal. Uh, just you know, me personally. Uh, uh, Trump is better. Trump, Trump, 2024. <laughs> <laughs> right on. <Sorry. laughs> now, on this upcoming fight, um, do you have any special loved one, training partners, coaches, supporters that you want to shout out to? Yeah, I want to uh, give a shout out to uh, my trainer Gilbert Zaragoza and also my sparring partner uh, 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 Gilbert Rodriguez. He he fought on your last card at the, yeah. the Cow Palace, yes. and uh, so uh, you know that's how I even learned about your, your promotion. So I, I came there with him, and uh, I saw you guys have a great promotion. You guys are very professional. So um, I'm looking. I'm very excited for this fight, and I'm looking forward to it. And you guys are gonna get a good show out there. We're gonna. I'm gonna be there, stand and bang. <laughs> no, that's pretty awesome. Let's yeah. take him back to put up some fireworks. You yes, know, sir. November night. Do not miss it out. Now, if your opponent Miguel watching this interview, what do you have to say to Miguel? Hey, Miguel, best of luck to your brother. I'm looking forward. To, I'm looking forward to meeting you. I'm looking forward to going in the cage, giving her all, and then leaving it all in the cage, brother. It's all love. After that, go get a beer together. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way how you do yes, it, sir. You know. So now, um, who is your favorite UFC fighter? Ah uh, man, stylistically, I really like uh, you know Corey Sandhagen. I love uh, uh, Sugar Sean O'Malley uh, mainly because you know we're we're tall, lanky guys. You know we got kind of similar styles. You know what I mean? So uh, you know, shout out to those guys. You know they give me uh, good motivation, and I'm also a big fan of the Diaz brothers. You know, growing up, I, I, I was watching Nick and Nick and Nate Diaz. I love their attitude. You know, going there, go, get in the cage, don't give, give it up, give it all you got. You know, and that's that's what I'm all about. Now tonight it's a big UFC fight. Yes, uh, Alex Pereira against uh, um, Khalil Roundtree. Yeah, yeah. Roundtree. Yeah. So what are you going for? Uh, statistically, I think Alex Pereira has the odds. You know, um, Khalil Roundtree, man, he's a he's a killer in the cage. Uh, I'm honestly excited to see the fight. I don't know who's gonna win. Uh, uh, that, I, the one thing for sure, the fight's not gonna last three rounds. <laughs> no, no, uh, that's for sure. Even though yeah. it's a five five minute five round fight. That fight, I think, is before three rounds, <laughs> maybe even shorter. Yeah. One of them is going to go down. I think Alex yes. Pereira is going to deliver it tonight, but I think we'll so. See. With the four arms club, anything can happen. It's with one, it's one, gonna be a fire. One, one of the landing. Yeah, yeah. The fire world, making sure you side stay, stay tuned. Want to watch for free? Go to Buffalo Wild Wing. Yes, sir. All Buffalo Wild Wing. Stream that fight for free. So if you guys want to get some Buffalo Wild Wing, <laughs> forget a, go watching the free fight, you know. So now, that's pretty awesome. And, um, for more information, make sure garage door, hit up this guy. Yes, so, sir. Uh, uh, you just based on Yelp, huh? Yeah, Yelp, you know, Facebook, uh, just search garage door services. I'm the only one gra uh, garage door services, yep. Garage door services. Yeah. In yes, the sir. Bay Area. Yes. And then do you have a number for that? 530-405-7929. Uh, uh, 
That's for your business. That's my business, yeah. That's pretty cool. And I'll make yeah. sure you get it down, write it down. If you need to sur service your garage door, mention this interview, yeah, mention the interview. you get a discount right there. Yeah. You know? I'll hook you up fat. You're not gonna get a salesman, you're gonna get someone that's gonna hook you up fat. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Man. You actually do it hands on yourself? Hands on myself, yeah. That's how you keep it so lean and, and, and in shape. Yeah, some of it, yeah. This <laughs> weather outside is 100 yeah. degrees, you have Ooh. to work on a garage door. Man, inside the garage spot, sometimes it'll be 10 degrees hotter too, you know? So ah. you, break a, you break a big sweat, God. lifting heavy motors, you know, heavy doors. So keep, oh. definitely keep seeing in, in shape. Stay away from the fast food, that's all. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good advice right yeah. there, you know? For more info, information about this upcoming fight card, check out DragonHouseMMA.com. John Low Cage Fighting Series number 11 is going down. And uh, subscribe my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram. And uh, give me a love and support. And uh, subscribe my YouTube channel. And uh, right next to me, one more time, your name again? Hamid. Hamid. Ayman. Ayman. Yes, sir. Hamid Ayman. That's a cool ass name. Right, I don't know what brother. that means, but it's so dim just so cool. It sounds yeah, cool. Thank you. <laughs> we'll see you guys November 9th. I'm John Low signing out. Peace.